Hi guys, it's Connie and Happy New Year! Yay! I've got brand new lights, clean room, kinda, and new hair! Just kidding, this is just a wig. <laughs> so I'm working on my first cosplay of 2017, which is Kubo from Kubo and the Two Strings. And since I'm going to be working with a Japanese pattern for his top, I thought it'd be great to go over how to work with Japanese patterns. Japanese patterns can come in either packets or books. Like Western patterns, they include the pattern pieces and the instructions. A few things to note though. If you're using the imperial system, you'll notice that all the measurements will be in the metric system, so you might have to do some conversion. In addition, Japanese patterns tend to come in much more limited sizing than American brands. If you want to learn how to resize patterns, I've put some links in the description below. As you can see, Japanese patterns are imprinted on much more durable paper, but there's a little bit of a catch. They all are overlapping. So, you're gonna have to trace all the pieces yourself. Luckily, all the pattern pieces are color-coded with their own unique lines and marks. My Otome sewing book pattern, for example, has a key that assigns each project a number, a color, a line marker, and how many pieces I'll need to trace. Once you've figured out what you need to trace, lay out transparent paper and begin tracing. As you trace out each piece, leave a good amount of space in between. Why? Well, I forgot to mention that these pieces also don't come with seam allowances. Yeah... Anyway, once you have your first piece traced, add in your seam allowances and then rinse and repeat until you have all your pieces traced and cut out. Now that you've got your pattern pieces, you can go ahead and assemble your project. If you've worked with patterns before, you probably can figure out which piece is which. But if you can't, here are some basic Japanese terms that'll help you get through figuring out what to do. Mae is front. Ushiro is back. Waki is side. Sode means sleeve. And Eri means collar. I've linked to a Japanese website in the description below that gives a full list of various Japanese sewing terms. Even if you can't read Japanese, most pattern instructions come with diagrams. So if you take your time and look at them carefully, you should be a-okay. I could go on and on about this topic, but honestly, that would be like an 8-hour vlog, so I think I'll probably stop here for now. If you have any specific questions about how to work with Japanese patterns, please feel free to comment below and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me. See you next time! Bye!